students. Today is the 8th lecture session, part 1. Topic of the lecture cybersecurity. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Introduction. List of concepts and definitions. Element of cybersecurity. Hacker. History of cybersecurity. Types of cybersecurity threats. Top 10 most high-profile cyber attacks of the 21st century. How to protect against attacks. Conclusion. Introduction. Cybersecurity is the processes and techniques used to protect sensitive data, computer systems, networks, and software applications from cyber attacks. A cyber or cybersecurity threat is a malicious act that seeks to damage data, steal data, or disrupt digital life in general. Cyber attacks include threats like computer viruses, data breaches, and denial of service, those attacks. A cyber attack is an attack that is mounted against us, meaning our digital devices, by means of cyberspace. Cyberspace, a virtual space that doesn't exist, has become the metaphor to help us understand digital weaponry that intends to harm us. List of concepts and definitions Cybersecurity is in the area of special attention of both users and organizations. Data security has been one of the top priorities of companies AE at departments for the past seven years. At the same time, the concepts and terms that are used in this area are not always familiar and understandable to ordinary users. We offer you a basic list of concepts and definitions, from which you will understand the difference, for example. Authentication. The process of establishing the identity of a user when trying to gain access to a computer or files. Apt threat, apt attack. A sophisticated, technologically advanced attack aimed at obtaining sensitive data over an extended period. Backups. Copies of your files, which are stored on a server, hard drive, computer, or removable drive in case the originals are lost. Cloud computing, cloud computing. Computing services provided from remote servers. Cybersecurity. Strategic actions to protect information and communications through a range of advanced tools, policies and processes. Data leak. Unauthorized access to data. Encryption. Data transformation in order to hide it. Terminal security. Ensuring the security of devices located at the endpoints of the network. Such devices include mobile devices used by employees, tablets, laptops. Enterprise risk management. A holistic approach to protecting company assets by identifying risks, taking countermeasures and responding to threats in real time. Firewall, firewall, firewall. A hardware or software solution aimed at blocking access to the network for unwanted users. Hacker, intruder. A person who, with malicious intent, violates security rules to gain access to data. Internet service provider, ISP. A company that provides internet access. Intrusion prevention system IPS. A program that recognizes and blocks hacker actions aimed at gaining access to your computer or data. Keylogger, keylogger. Software or hardware device that logs keystrokes to intercept information entered, such as passwords. Malicious software, malware. Software aimed at performing unauthorized malicious actions on a computer. Phishing. Fraudulent emails sent by attackers to gain access to confidential information such as banking information or passwords. Risk assessment. The process of identifying potential risks that are relevant to your company or network. Spyware, spyware. Malicious software that, without your knowledge, monitors activities or information on your computer and sends it to another person. Even virtual private network. A safer way to access the web is by routing your connection through a dedicated server that hides your location. Virus. Self-replicating malware. Worm. A malicious program that installs itself as it infiltrates a computer and spreads copies of itself to other computers. Element of cybersecurity. 
Cybersecurity, sometimes called computer security, is a collection of methods and practices for protecting computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. Cybersecurity finds applications in a wide variety of areas, from business to mobile technology. Several main categories can be distinguished in this direction. Network security actions to protect computer networks from various threats such as targeted attacks or malware. Application security, protecting devices from threats that criminals can hide in programs. An infected application can give an attacker access to data that it is supposed to protect. Application security is ensured even at the development stage, long before it appears in open sources. Information security, ensuring the integrity and privacy of data both during storage and during transmission. Operational security, information asset handling and protection. This category includes, for example, managing network access permissions or rules that define where and how data can be stored and transmitted. Disaster recovery and business continuity, responding to a security incident, attacker, and any other event that could disrupt systems or lead to data loss. Disaster recovery is a set of rules that describe how an organization will deal with the impact of an attack and restore business processes. Business continuity, a plan of action in case an organization loses access to certain resources due to a malicious attack. End user compliance educating users. This direction helps to reduce the impact of the most unpredictable factor in the field of cybersecurity, the human. Even the most secure system can be attacked due to someone else's mistake or ignorance. Therefore, every organization should conduct trainings for employees and tell them about the main rules, for example, not to open suspicious email attachments or plug in questionable ASP devices. Hacker A single perception of who is still called a hacker in the computer literature has not developed. According to some, a hacker is someone who breaks into computer security in order to subsequently recommend practical ways to improve their protection mechanisms. According to others, they are professionals of the highest level, criminally using their knowledge and experience. Currently, hackers are divided into white hat and black hat, which simply means good and bad hackers. Good or white hackers are those who identify vulnerabilities in computer systems in order to eliminate them. Although they do it for their own benefit. After all, a hacked computer system can pay such a hacker a certain amount as a sign of appreciation and gratitude for the service rendered. In any case, the hackers hope to get paid for their actions. White hackers at the same time cause minimal damage to the system. And the bad ones are the black ones. These are those who hack other people's programs or systems for their own benefit. They're the creators of various types of viruses and Trojan programs. History of Cybersecurity There are 10 common types of cyber threats. Malware Software that performs a malicious task on a target device or network, e.g., corrupting data or taking over a system. Phishing. An email born attack that involves tricking the email recipient into disclosing confidential information or downloading malware by clicking on a hyperlink in the message. Spear phishing. A more sophisticated form of phishing where the attacker learns about the victim and impersonates someone he or she knows and trusts. Man in the middle, midden attack. Where an attacker establishes a position between the sender and recipient of electronic messages and intercepts them, perhaps changing them in transit. The sender and recipient believe they are communicating directly with one another. A attack might be used in the military to confuse an enemy. Trojans. Named after the Trojan horse of ancient Greek history, the Trojan is a type of malware that enters a target system looking like one thing, e.g., a standard piece of software, but then lets out the malicious code once inside the host system. Ransomware 
an attack that involves encrypting data on the target system and demanding a ransom in exchange for letting the user have access to the data again. These attacks range from low-level nuisances to serious incidents like the locking down of the entire city of Atlanta as municipal government data in 2018. Denial of service attack or distributed denial of service attack Ds. Where an attacker takes over many, perhaps thousands, of devices and uses them to invoke the functions of a target system e.g. a website, causing it to crash from an overload of demand. Attacks on IAT devices. IAT devices like industrial sensors are vulnerable to multiple types of cyber threats. This include hackers taking over the device to make it part of AD's attack and unauthorized access to data being collected by the device. Given their numbers, geographic distribution and frequently out-of-date operating systems, IAT devices are a prime target for malicious actors. Data breaches. A data breach is a theft of data by a malicious actor. Motives for data breaches include crime, a desk identity theft, a desire to embarrass an institution, e.g. Edward Snowden or the DNC hack, and espionage. Malware on mobile apps. Mobile devices are vulnerable to malware attacks just like other computing hardware. Attackers may embed malware in app downloads, mobile websites or phishing emails and text messages. Once compromised, a mobile device can give the malicious actor access to personal information, location data, financial accounts and more. Top 10 Most High Profile Cyber Attacks of the 21st Century How to protect against attacks, helpful cybersecurity tips. Here are some tips on how to protect yourself from cyber threats. Update your software and operating system. With the new software, you get the latest security fixes. Use antivirus software. Security solutions such as Kaspersky Total Security can help identify and eliminate threats. For maximum safety, update your software regularly. Use strong passwords. Do not use combinations that are easy to pick or guess. Do not open email attachments from unknown senders, they may be infected with malware. Do not follow links received by mail from unknown senders or unknown websites, this is one of the standard ways malware spreads. Avoid unsecured public Wi-Fi networks, where you are vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks. Conclusion Based on the task set by us, we will sum up the results. The concept of cybercrime today has become widespread in connection with the information and telecommunications breakthrough that occurred in the Ecoxy century. To date, there are several approaches to the division of cybercrime into types. The development of cybercrime keeps pace with the development of information technology, and the motives of cybercriminals also change with the development of cybercrime. There are a number of factors that affect the commission of economic crimes, and the commission of such crimes is divided into certain types. Cybercrime is a big problem today and is rapidly developing every year in all countries of the world. There are approaches to the definition of laws related to cybercrime abroad. Kazakhstan has adopted a law on combating cybercrime, and global associations occupy a huge place in the fight against cybercrime. Thus, cybercrime is an urgent problem that affects different layers and structures, develops every year and becomes more complex in terms of resolving and reducing its progression, punishing cybercriminals. It causes huge damage to the economy, financial assets of companies, and individuals, so there are various associations and discussions on the topic of cybercrime in the world, and new solutions to the problems of cybercrime must be formed. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.